So this is a review of Marvel Comics Marvel Team Up number 93 featuring Spider-Man and the Werewolf. Really awesome cover. The villain from this issue is Tattered a Million, which is a really stupid name and I had to look it up online to make sure I was pronouncing it right. Um, and actually it's a real word and what it means is hobo or guy with raggedy clothes, which is nice. Um, so this issue um, is written by Steve Grant, who's known for kind of rebooting the Punisher series in the 80s, and it's drawn by uh, Tim Sutton, who's known for doing Ghost Rider comics, the early Ghost Rider comics with Jim Mooney, and Carmine Infantino, who's known for doing the kind of new look Batman um, from the 60s, like post-Adam West. Um, so, let's get into it. Um, this issue is an out-of-town issue, meaning, like, the characters are not living in their normal area, they're out of town checking stuff out, which is pretty normal for team-ups, you know, usually one of the characters is somebody else's town. Um, so in this case, Peter Parker is in Jack Russell's town, Jack Russell being this guy who is the werewolf, and, uh, they're visiting a jazz club, which is pretty funny, because actually, if you look, there's no jazz instruments, they're playing like drums and she's singing and there's a guitar but it is what it is um so anyways they're at this jazz club and they're enjoying themselves and jack russell is talking to his buddy who just had his life almost be taken by a villain in a previous issue of spider woman which is actually referenced right here and he's trying to tell his friend that everything's okay and nothing's gonna go wrong and just enjoy yourself and enjoy this jazz club then all of a sudden tattered a million shows up and uh Tattered a Million is kind of a weird villain, and I guess he's kind of um, a werewolf by night villain, but <laughs> his powers are really goofy because his powers are, well, his powers are that he has really stinky clothes so people don't want to get near him, and really slippery clothes so people can't grab him, and his hands secrete these nasty chemicals that burn money. See, he's burning money. Um, and also, it burns clothes as you can see here, because Peter Parker is like, no, don't burn my clothes, and then people will know I'm Spider-Man. So, he burns stuff with his hands, which is cool, I guess. Um, and he's really ugly, and he has really, like I said, tattered clothes, and his scarf, I guess, can, like, it's weighted, like Batman's cape, he can throw it and, like, knock you unconscious. But on top of that, he's a hobo, and he lives in the sewers with hobos, and, yeah great villain, right? Um, I actually looked up his backstory online, and his backstory is that he used to be rich, he lost all his money, and so now he wants to steal other rich people's money and burn it. So, um, anyways, he shows up at the club, and he starts attacking everybody at the club, trying to burn their money, burn their clothes, you know, so that they'll be poor like him. Um, Jack Russell's gonna stop him by transforming into a werewolf, and before he gets a chance to, Peter Parker tries to sort of, like, stop him. Um, and then, conveniently, since they both need to turn into their alter egos and can't do so because they'd have to, like, run away, the lights go out, and they're like, oh, the lights are out, now I can turn into Spider-Man, and he's like, now I can turn into the werewolf. So they take the opportunity to both shed their clothes. Where where the clothes go, I don't know. I'm assuming that there are just going to be, like, clothes laying around on the ground, and it would be really obvious that they're superheroes or whatever, but it doesn't really pay any attention to that. Um... Throughout this comic, there's a mystery woman that's kind of following Spider-Man around, trying to judge whether or not she can, like, use his body and soul for her own purposes. And in the end, she reveals who she is, so we'll get to that point. But, see, the lights go out, and then, like, literally on the next page, Petter Million is like, Spider-Man, you know, werewolf, my enemies, and then they fight. So, skip these ads here a little bit. This is a throwdown that goes down between them. Um, it starts with, you know, obviously, Werewolf fighting Spider-Man, Spider-Man fighting Werewolf. Spider-Man's like, what, you can talk now? And Werewolf's like, yeah, I can do whatever now. I'm in control of myself, so I'm better than I was last time. And then Tattered Million's like, shut up and fight me. So he shoves his stinky hat on Spider-Man's face, and Spider-Man's like, oh my god, you. And uh, <laughs> throws his scarf at the Werewolf's face, knocks him unconscious, and takes him away. Um, so then that lady's following Spider-Man again, and Spider-Man's like, oh, I gotta go figure out where Tattered a Million went. And where it turns out he went is he went in a manhole into the sewers, and, uh, 
he has the werewolf like hanging from the roof by chains and he's like tormenting the werewolf telling him that he's rich so he must suffer so spider-man goes down the manhole and uh takes the sewer entrance into tattered millions warehouse and decides to fight him and realizes that he can't grab him so the only way to fight him is by like swinging him around by his own scarf so that's kind of how he deals with them swinging him around by a scarf and it still doesn't work out very well and then he kind of like pimp slaps him in the face at one point which is really stupid but whatever it's spider-man i mean spider-man's kind of like that so um so he escapes up a ladder and escapes back to his hideout. Spider-Man goes up to the hideout to find out that he's hanging out with hobos. All of his henchmen are hobos. And he says he's not going to fight a bunch of derelicts. So a hobo throws hot soup in his face, which is great. So he actually says, that's hot soup. Yow. I thought that was funny. Um, Jack Russell has a little bit of time to break free after they throw the hot soup in Spider-Man's face. Um, and Spider-Man starts trying to do his normal Spider-Man stuff, like shoot web at guys and shoot web and drop kick guys, and it's not going so well because supposedly the oiliness of Tattered Million's clothes means that the web cannot stick to it, which, yeah, I don't really believe that, but that's how it is in this issue, so. <laughs> this issue's just like one big fight, really. Like, as soon as Tattered Million shows up, they are just fighting nonstop, and it's like a chase, and then a fight, and then a chase, and a fight, but it does kind of come, um... Uh, to an ending right here, uh, Spider-Man distracts Tatter Demillion enough to that, like, the werewolf can jump and bounce off of a wall, and then, like, ricochet back, and this is really gross, because he actually bites Tatter Demillion's scarf, so, like, not only does this guy have, like, stinky, stinky clothes, but he bites his scarf, which is, like, around his disgusting face, and he's even like, no, don't look on my ugly face, and, uh, then Spider-Man punches him in his ugly face, knocks him unconscious, and then they have this little conversation here where uh, he talks about Tatter Demillion and he could have done it himself, and, you know, like, whatever. Who helped Tatter Demillion get so powerful because he used to be pathetic? And then Spider-Man's like, didn't you see that woman? And then the werewolf's like, no, I didn't see any woman. And then, guess what? Spider-Man did see the woman. So he ditches out on the werewolf. What a nice guy. Goes outside to find the woman. Sees the woman. Holy crap, the woman is, uh, Dance on, Dance Macabre. I, I don't even know who she is. Honestly, I might have to look her up and see who she's supposed to be. The next issue says The Secret of the Shroud, which makes it seem like she's the Shroud, but I think the Shroud is a man, so I don't think that she's the Shroud, but look at this. I mean, this is pretty risky for a 70s comic. I mean, for a comic in general, they don't usually show that much nudity. Even though, I don't know, maybe that's supposed to be, like, her suit. Like, the purple parts and blue parts be, like, her suit coming on. I don't know what her suit looks like, so maybe not. Um, overall, this comic was kind of fun to read because it's the werewolf by night and Spider-Man. It's always cool to see Spider-Man team up with, like, the monster characters. Like, I did buy a couple other team-up monster books because of that. Um, it is cool to see monsters and superheroes fighting side-by-side side and stuff. But, Tether to Million... Come on, really? What a lame villain. What a lame name. What lame powers. It, the whole thing made the superheroes... Sorry, superhero and monster just seem pathetic. Like, they couldn't even barely touch him until the very end, and they just, like, won by accident, by happenstance. Um, I still enjoyed reading it, though. Thoroughly. I gotta say. Like, <laughs> even though it was kind of pathetic and whatever, it was very, like, well-drawn and still very well-written, and it had a lot of that, like... I'm speaking what I'm thinking out loud type of stuff, which is what I like about Marvel comics from this era, so. Pretty decent comic overall. Um, if you like it, let me know. Leave a leave a comment. Tell me if there's any other specific team-ups you want me to do reviews of, and I'll check them out, and I'll do some reviews of those.